Hey, how's it going? So today I'm going to show you the sound problem that I have in my apartment. That's the sound from the school right next door. Pretty, you can hear it pretty clearly. Doesn't really bother me, but I can, I can hear it. Click on info here. So it's conversation is 60 decibel, 80s loud music, 100 decibels motorcycle. All right, now I'm at the uh, the balcony, directly uh, facing the source of uh, noise. So you can hear the school announcement, the traffic, the traffic horns, the construction site over there. I think that's the Merdeka Tower. I think. Not sure. I forgot. So I got my app here because this is me talking. So I'm going to reset one more time. These are the old one. That's the new glass. Look how thick it is. It's about as thick as my finger. 
That's for the bathroom. They've installed this one. They're gonna install these two right after lunch. They're, they're after lunch at the moment. So that's the foam. Foam all the way there, see? This is the uh, sound insulation foam. Right there. And if you can see on this side, more foam. Out on the outside. So they're gonna cut this. And then tomorrow, the cement guy will come in to cover this. And to cover this. That's the door. Pretty good, pretty solid. <clears throat> pretty good. Check out the, uh, the one in the bathroom. So that's the frame. They haven't installed the, the glass yet. That's the tray. And they're getting rid of the old one. Old windows, old sliding door. These are all the gaps. Ta da! Looks good. You can still hear the train actually, but it's significantly less. The ambient noise, like the rain noise, uh, school noise is all gone, but I can still hear a little bit of the train noise. So. So a lot of the noise is still coming from this door. So even though we have we have the foaming here, but I don't think it's uh, it's that effective, if I'm honest.
All right, so there you have it. I have the soundproofing windows installed. So the difference be for the train noise before and after installation measured right here inside is about negative 20 decibels. So that sounds kind of a lot on paper, but I can still hear the train noise. So, I mean, I can, I can sleep better, but I can still hear it. So the whole thing cost me about 7,000 ringgit-ish. And for that kind of money, I was expecting more soundproofing, if I'm being perfectly honest. Ultimately, is it worth it? In my personal opinion, if you're not staying here as an investment home, not really. However, if you are actually staying here, this is your home, you stay with your family, you sleep here, I think for 7,000 ringgit, I'll give it a 6 out of 10. I think I expect a little bit more soundproofing for, uh, for, for the money that I paid for. Okay, on my next video, most of the noise is coming from this door, which is not soundproof. This is the old fire door. I bought these D seals. So I'm going to try to install this on my next video and see if that makes a little bit better improvement. I doubt that it's going to make a lot of improvement, but stay tuned for that video.